Hey y'all, it's me Rodney. Hey guys, it's me Missy. And today we don't have very cool, a cool bunch of finds like usual on Tuesdays. We only found some basic random stuff. But Missy's got a special project she's wanting to show you guys. Yep. But first, how you doing today, Karen? How you doing, Donna? Every, everything going good? It's a wonderful Tuesday. Uh, 7 p.m. over here. Yep. Uh, you ready to explain what you're doing, Missy? So, um, you know, we got these um, book boxes, right? That's what they are, right? Just they're hide -a boxes. Hide -a boxes. Yeah, yeah. you can okay. open it up and show them the inside. So, yeah, you just open it up and hey, cat. nothing in it. You know, you can hide stuff in it so it looks like a book, but you can set it up and it can look like this or you could lay it down either which way. But the first thing that I did was um, I went ahead and got a coat on it so that way it could dry. But I am going to show y'all a different way um, that I applied this paint to this book because I'm wanting it to have a little bit of like age to it to make it kind of look, you know, just a little bit worn or whatever, right? So I'm going to be using a sea sponge and you can get these just about anywhere. Yep. Yeah. We got so, that on Walmart in the bath section. Right. So we're going to be using this um, to apply the paint to the book. And then, of course, you know, we have the um, Easter decoupage papers. And I believe this is the one that I want to go with. But goodness, there are so many pretty ones. So um, these are available on our website. If you haven't seen them already, you can get these there. Ooh, I got to do some adjusting to our overhead cam. Colors are a little off. Colors are off. How are you doing today, Sandy? Hi, Tina. Hi. Sharon, how are you doing? Lorna? Lorna's joining us again from Fresno, California. California. So this is the one that I'm wanting to go with. I like it a lot because it has like, it looks like, you know, the script behind it and stuff like that. I think it'll be a really pretty like little Easter book. Um, but here's the newest thing. So um, my aunt was telling me about these uh, dried pressed flowers and then, and I mean, they're just so cool. So I found, or Rodney found them for me on Amazon. Um, and they, you can get them in this little pack like this. And it just has, was it four packs of dry pressed flowers. But what I thought would be really neat is after we get this on the book and everything, is if we use some Mod Podge and we Mod Podge some of these dried pressed flowers onto the image to kind of give it a dimensional, uh, how am I saying that right? Um, dimensional. Yeah, look. And then you also have this binding. So whether you set it down or set it up, um, I thought it would be really pretty to have some flowers and um, the greenery right there. So um, this is new for me. So we're just gonna learn this together, but. I, Karen, to answer your question, she said Vinny gave May May roses and chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day Ooh, on their live today. What do you have for Missy? I have dried flowers. Dried flowers. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. That uh, was super sweet. And Little Caesar's pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Judy, how are you doing today? I didn't see that on the live today, but I didn't get to watch all of my May's live today because obviously I was working at the store. Yeah, you had to go to So the I was on and off of their live. Um, I did see my May's earrings, though. I thought they were pretty. They looked good on her. That was super sweet. That was super sweet. Karen said, Ni perfect, nice save. Yeah, dried <laughs> flowers. That's that's right up my dried alley. Dried flowers, yeah, yeah, it is. Something that I could mod podge for sure, yeah. She wouldn't want a real flowers. No. Okay, so right off the bat, let us um, let me show y'all how I applied this paint. And I don't know if you can see it really good on camera, but the- Not on the top view. Right. You might can see it on the front. Um, let's see if you can. It has, when you do the sponge technique, um, it gives you just a light texture without adding an additive to your paint. Um, and it actually, it's actually fun and it covers um, really good. So I'm just gonna pour a little paint into my bowl. I got the colors just about right on the overhead. Um, and then as always, pay attention to your front. This is my front, this is where I'm wanting to put my image. So I just take my sponge and then I just like Pizza's always a winner in my book, Karen said. It's always a winner here. Um, 
and I dab it into the paint and then I just sponge it on just yeah. like that. And you can see the texture as soon as you apply it. Yeah. So the reason why it's harder to see the texture on our overhead is because we have two two key we have two fill lights and one key light. So it kind of evens the, the tone out when you're looking at it on the above. I'm fixing to change the uh, focus though. I'm mainly going to focus on the side and the front of this book with y'all tonight. Um, and then definitely finish up the back side of it once everything is dry on the front. But that's all I'm doing is just a little bit of paint and then letting it have that texture. So if you're painting furniture or anything like this and you're wanting it to have, um, uh, what do you call it? Just like a, like that old world finish or something right. like that. Um, or the primitive look or anything like that. This is a good um, technique to do um, with the furniture because you, after it's dry, you can go back through and you can wax and the wax will get into the details or you can dry brush. Yes with a different color paint um, and let that go over it too. So either way, it works really good. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna try to do is just like dry brush a little bit um, on here so that way it just has that old worn look of a book. Almost like a leather back book or something that just has that texture, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Karen said, can you paint the covers of an actual book with chalk paint? Do you have to do anything special? So as long as it's, um, like a hardback book, um, yeah, you, you just paint it. I think you can paint a softback if you wanted to. Yeah, just don't you oversaturate can. it. You know those um, like new books or whatever that have that. They're what is the um, what is it called? Like it's not paper, but it's. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it is, but um, definitely older books or Reader's Digest books or anything like that. Yeah. You, you know, you could definitely. I paint those up. I do have a set of books um, that I brought home, not with me, that they're not up here, but um, I do want to do um, an Easter project with those where I take the covers of the book and then we paint the page. But I also, well, there's a couple of things that I'm wanting to try out and do, so we'll definitely um, see. But yeah, you can paint them. Um, I've painted the covers of books and we've probably. got vendors that paint the cover of uh, regular old paperbacks with the glossy covers and they're just fine yeah too. that that's true that's true so yeah um because it's still even though it's a, a glossy book it's still a porous surface that's why if you pour water on it it'll still ruin mm -hmm. as opposed to pouring water on this counter i would um just wipe your book down really good with some rubbing alcohol yeah just to make sure that it's clean and anything like that, that that would be my suggestion is to just uh, clean your book really good. Um, and the best thing to clean that with, it, to me, is rubbing alcohol. That's what I would clean it with. Yep. We're huge fans of using rubbing alcohol when it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Clean and be simple because you don't want any uh, skin oils or anything like that on there. Right. TSP is great for removing really hard to, hard to remove stuff. So white lightning is great for that. Or if you have just old TSP sitting around the house. If you're wanting to do like the book stacks or anything like that and you're um, you're not wanting them to open or anything like that, you can take a Mod Podge and add just a little bit of water to it just to water it down a little bit so it's not so thick and then uh, paint all the sides of your books and then just kind of go into it and then close them up and then that will um, once that Mod Podge is all the way dry, that will glue up yeah. the book so they don't open It'll or anything nice like that. It'll be pretty so solid not, too. Yeah, it's a lot, a little bit stiffer and stuff like that. Some people do that, some people don't. Um, Hi, if, Natalie. If it's a book you don't really care about, um, it doesn't, you know, have no value or whatever, then. Well, I don't want to say that because people will get mad about that. Karen but. said rubbing alcohol is awesome for cleaning stencils too. Mm -hmm. We always have rubbing alcohol in this house. Yep. Scrapes, cuts. Because this is my favorite thing to put on somebody's cut. Clean glass. They don't like it or... when I do that, but it doesn't matter. Give me your hand. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol. Yes. Our squirt hand sanitizer on it. That works too. It just, <laughs> it's a really good. It's good for cleaning stuff. She especially. said good to know. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ouch. Lol. Ouch. That's for sure. right. Yeah. They don't like it when I do that. I'm or, just... or when I got a, when they, when anybody gets a splinter, they just leave it in there and it'll get all messed up. And then I'll be, they'll be like, oh, my finger hurts. And I'll be like, you let me see it. And I take my knife and I just, I obviously, I wipe, wipe it down with rubbing alcohol real good. And I drag the splinter out and then they're all happy after that. But while I'm doing it, it's, oh, you're killing me. It hurts so bad. Yeah. Even Missy did it the other day with her splinter. I hate a splinter. She had to, like, I was just, I, I'm surprised she didn't break her arm trying to get it away from me while I was trying to get the splinter out. One time, Emily almost it. did when she was little. She almost broke her foot because I was, we we're having to hold her down to get this big old splinter out. It was crazy. I, I so I just used that. water to get my image. Will the texture interfere with the decoupage paper? No, uh, because the rice paper is so thin. Yes. And this is not heavy texture at all. Like now, if I was to add like a sea spray additive, sea spray, sea spray, sea yeah. spray additive, um, then that would probably be a little bit too much. It'd be a little bit too rough. But this is no more, no different than a crackle, no, as far as like the texture. It's wise. actually softer than a crackle. Actually, mm -hmm. the only you got a splotch right there because you pulled some paint out of the lid. So that's why that stuck up like that. Yeah, but. So you can get some little paint chunks out of the lid and that'll give you that little effect Missy got right there on the yeah. thing. But I don't think that'll interfere with the, the decoupage paper No, at it's all. not going to interfere with the decoupage paper at all. It's not as, because chalk paint is self-leveling, so it is going to level out some on its own. But because we used the sea sponge and we applied it and did the stippling motion, um, it's not going to self-level like it normally would if I was to paint it on with a paintbrush. Right. That's that's the difference there because it, it can self-level and that's why it is um, smoother in some places, but um, it's not gonna it's not gonna mess up the deck apart. Most of it's not actually creating texture. What it's doing is creating the appearance of texture, which that, is, yeah, that's true. Which that's is it. what you're wanting. The appearance of it that. It's going to give so it to that. create a lot of texture, you would really have to use baking soda, sea spray. You use salt, but salt doesn't like to just clump up and stick together. It's easy to scrape off. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a great question, Donna. Yeah. Great question. I'm going to let it dry a little bit more, but that's what we're going to do. And because this is a full colored image, I'm not really gonna go behind it with a lighter color what do you think the only thing that'll be affected by that one is, is the, the bunny because he's his fur but his fur is gray instead of white so mm -hmm. that's that kind of works out let's see we we can just yeah i'll show i'll show you i'll show you real quick donna let me see what do i have drop off can you see let it, it? Zoom, let it focus and that's that's the texture that you get right there it's not really a lot of texture it just appears to be. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, this chunk right here, that's from the paint lid. And that was just to add that to it. So hopefully, you were able to see that pretty good. Uh, she said, okay. Yeah. Karen said, that's such a great image. Thank you, Karen. I think it's really pretty. Emily actually picked the image for this book today. Yeah, she did. Because I think you were going to use the other one with the basket, with the big basket. And then Emily was like, use that one because it actually looks like a book page. And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea, actually. I just want to make sure that I can... Get it lined up right? Yeah. So I'm gonna, I am going to go behind it with just a thin coat of drop cloth. Um, just so that way I can make sure that this image is bright. I guess it would have helped if I had put it on the main screen instead of in that little corner for you to be able to see. Oh, is that what you did? Yeah. I didn't even um, think about that. So I'm just kind of going to stipple this one too so I don't... So you are painting it a brighter color? Yeah, I decided I'm going to because I do want it... I want this to be very... The, vibrant? Yeah, vibrant and standout-ish. So I feel like if we can I do always that, sponge back in. Yeah, that's what I was. That's why I was like, if I do it with a chip brush and just um, do it this way, 
it doesn't take away my texture, but it, it'll blend in on the sides. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty sharp. And it kind of matches the paper, too. The drop mm -hmm. cloth does. Yeah. What color did you paint the book? Uh, the color is sandbar. Okay. And then this is drop cloth. You going to be mixing in any other colors with it? I have vintage duck eggs sitting here, but I figured we'll just see how it goes. All um, right. We're going to be winging it today. Yeah, because I have the flowers... And I don't want it to be too busy, you know. Well, the image itself is pretty busy. Yeah. So I don't want to take away from what I'm trying to add. Now, if anybody's got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Susie, this is a, uh, yeah, a hide a book. A hide a so book. So it looks like it's a box that looks like a book. They're really cool. I like them. And I try to pick them up whenever I find them. Yeah, we do have a stack of them right now. Tina, that drop cloth, we got that at Lowe's in the uh, painting section because yes. that is literally the cheapest way to get that much drop cloth material. Yeah, it is, and it's... Um, and we use it, we, like, we use it for everything. Everything. Like, we during all... the summertime, we'll take that drop cloth and we'll string it up across the top of the carport to keep the sun from shining Right. In because we don't have a carport door, so it's just open. It's just open, and it kind of blocks the sun and everything like that. Um, and it's heavy, and if it gets wet, it's okay, it dries. So it works. Let Susie me... said, love it. Yeah, I think it's going to turn out really good. I'm going to zap it real quick with the heat gun. It'll dry super fast because it's just okay. cardboard. And Tina said, perfect, thank you. That's not a problem. That was a great question. But yeah, because I think a thing of drop cloth, that big old huge thing is like 20 bucks. Yeah, Karen's right. Harbor Freight's good, too. Uh, the closest Harbor Freight, Tina, is going to be in Pelham. So you get off the first Alabaster exit. Actually, no. You can get off the Tank Farm exit and turn right, and Harbor Freight will be about uh, half a mile on the left. Right past where Old Time Pottery is. Actually, it's right before Old Time Pottery, isn't it? Yeah. It's right before you get the old time pottery. Harbor Freight? Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, Karen said Harbor Freight has them too. Yes, they do. So that'll work. Yeah, I like it brighter. I'm glad I did that. I'm not allowed to go to Harbor Freight that often. Oh, please. I wanted to go there the other day and get a press. Please. I use two of those drop cloths for my drapes in my living room. They're yeah, perfect. They are. I think we actually did that for a while. And yeah, and then you bought those big old Eclipse, the kind that keeps the sun out and keeps the house cold or whatever. Oh, do you see my marshmallow? I thought you just had it. It's right there in the little squeeze oh, bottle. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of the big stuff. So, okay, so I gave it a background of um, drop cloth. Harbor Freight is a tool store that sells a lot of different things. Yeah. But they're mostly just specialized in tools. So you can buy all kinds of tools. And they're fairly inexpensive. But you want to be careful with the ones you get. Make sure you watch some YouTube reviews and stuff. Yeah. It's like buying wind, wind tools from Amazon. Be careful with those too, because I have a wind sander, and uh, used it twice. I've used it twice; it tore up, and we're currently modifying it so it will work properly. Right. Sandy said her husband's not allowed to go to Harbor Freight either. Yeah, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> also, if you're gonna get nitrile gloves, Harbor Freight is literally the cheapest place to get them. No joke. You can get a pack of 100 for $6.49. The only time they didn't have them was during COVID. That's because they were being requisitioned. 
But yeah, Harbor Freight is the cheapest place to get nitrile gloves. And I buy them all the time. Oh. Jay is currently modifying a oh. generator. What kind does it say though? A wind generator. Yeah. You that's what exactly what I had to do with the sander. I had to modify it and put it. We're putting a uh I'm having to put a belt tensioner on it, so I have to manufacture that. Susie said, I should not be allowed in Harbor Freight or Lowe's. Donna said, I get crafting tools there too. Yeah, you can get glue sticks. They have high power, high temperature glue guns. Yes. Uh, you can get uh, spray adhesives there. All kinds of stuff. My, our first heat gun was from there. It didn't wow. last, but it was from Harbor Freight. My first lathe came from Harbor Freight, and I would have kept it had it not broke while right. I was using it. And that was a, could have been a bad injury. I was really lucky. All right, so. But my welders are from, or two of my welders are from Harbor Freight. My third one's a Hobart, and they work fantastic. All of them. As a matter of fact, my auto darkened and welding helmets from Harbor Freight. Sorry. Yeah, I'm Rodney, like, no, I'm Rodney inter likes Harbor Freight. I do. I like Harbor Freight. <laughs> There's just some tools that you, there's some tools that you can get there that, that are really good tools and they're really good prices. I bought a vice there and it broke, so I can't recommend their vices. Judy, I used to get my chip brushes from Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. We still do occasionally if we're doing something where we're just going to throw away the brush. Right. Because that doesn't hurt my feelings when I do it with a Harbor Freight brush. And acid brushes. You can get acid brushes yes. at Harbor Freight, too. So if you're using something like uh, like wood burning gel, that where you heat it with a heat gun and it makes the wood burn, right? That, that you can get those brushes at Harbor Freight. They're really good. They're really good for that. Yes, yeah. the magnetic bars for holding tools, they, those are awesome, yeah. and they're really cheap there. I use the magnetic bowls, too. Yes. We have them in the store. We have them here. We use them all the time. They're really handy. Sharon called it. Harbor Freight's man's hobby lobby. It is. It is. You want a 24-karat gold-plated ratchet? You can get one at Harbor Freight. That's, no joke. That's all. I'm not funny. even kidding. Because I look at it every time we go in. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, let's get this ratchet. And never use it. All my torque wrenches came from there. And I tested Harbor Freight dial, dial, digital calipers versus a Chinois dial caliper. And they were exact. The measurements were, were one to one. It was perfect. Kat so, said that D loves Harbor Freight. Does he? So what I'm kind of doing is taking my uh, paintbrush and just kind of making like weird strokes on it. <laughs> Judy said, yep, use it and toss it. So that way it kind of almost looks like it was a painted on there. Yeah. You know? Oh, you uh, okay. So she's using her brush to create Yeah, to like strokes. Lines. Yeah. Like, so that way it can look like it was, instead of trying to get that um, smooth finish, let me go to main camera and I'll hold it up and show them. Let me add a little bit more. Um, Jay said exactly right at Sharon, the Harbor Freight's man's hobby lobby. Man's hobby lobby. I mean, I don't think there's too many tools that you really can't get there. My first table saw came from Harbor Freight. Okay, you you can see it in person really good, can you? Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold it up here until it. So you see that effect that Missy's getting by leaving brush strokes in the Mod Podge? Yeah. Makes it look like a, it's a faux painting, basically. Like a faux painting. So if you um, do your Mod Podge just a little bit thicker um, and That's then really let it cool. dry. So even if I went back, so after all this is dry, even if I wanted to go a little bit thicker in different places, that would help with the making it look more like a oil painting um, type thing, right? Oh yeah, you could probably use a uh, palette knife. By palette knife, I'm talking about a painting yeah. palette knife, yeah. and actually make 
like strong strokes <clears throat> with it. Yeah. Jay said he could see it in the, uh, he could see the strokes. Yeah, you can see the strokes. So it, usually, you know, I'm going for a nice, smooth, thin layer. Donna Here, said it I makes just, the bunny look real. It does Karen to me says too. it looks awesome. Susie said, I use a Harbor Freight canvas tote tool for my first paper craft tools. The, the tote bags. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All my part, all my small parts organizers came from Harbor Freight as well, except for that one that I got at TJ Maxx. Tool Works, I think, is who made it. Oh, yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. is way I cool. Okay, so these are the dried flowers. And again, okay, um, let me go back to overhead. Yeah, Rodney got these Whoa. off of Amazon. That isn't working. Don't know what happened there. There we go. We're back. You got it? Yeah. I don't know why it did that, but. Okay. So Rodney got these dried flowers off of Amazon. It came in a four pack and it came with tweezers. Um, they're dried pressed flowers. I think they were like $12.99 on Amazon, yeah. guys. So what I thought would be cool is to add the flowers like where some of these um, flowers on the image are, I thought it would be cool to add it to make it kind of layer up. Um, so let's put the flowers over the flowers. That would be see cool. See how this works out. So what do you guys think? Flowers over the flowers? I thought it was <laughs> very interesting. Um, and I feel like there's Karen, probably that's a great idea. Yeah, a lot. Tina said, be do. careful. The flowers can be brittle. Yeah. Yeah, her Aunt Lynn was super stoked. Called called her on the phone and said, hey, I saw this. You got to try it. So Missy said, okay. Yes. Yeah, and we, we didn't know they were going to be here in time for today. So when they came in today, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I was like, well, I know what I'm doing. It even came with tweezers. Right. Super brittle. Susie said, that's an excellent idea. Flowers over flowers. I can do it. I'm trying not to. So they're vacuum sealed in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have opened it and took a look at it myself. That would have been cool. So I feel like. Can I have this one? Thank you. I'll get this one. I want to look at it. I just feel like it would be really pretty. Oh, that so is like, so cool. Do it like that. There's and then these are so pretty. Yeah, the pink ones. Oh yeah, I like these little orange ones too. Yeah, I thought those were really pretty too. I'm trying to be so My camera's careful. So small. I might not use this one though. That one's it's, really cool. It's so bright. And I'm kind of like. What if you use the back side? Well, I don't. That This side is the pretty side. I thought it looked really good up there. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm trying to be so careful. Moment of truth. <laughs> and then you drop it again. Again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got the drops. Yeah. I just want to like kind of do it like that. So I feel like these are pretty. They look pretty. They look really muted though compared to the other ones. Missy, you need reverse tweezers. What what are reverse tweezers? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if it's like those kind that I have for uh, soldering. Hmm. Time to look it up. Reverse tweezers. We always get the neatest ideas. All right. From you guys and Aunt Lynn too. If you're watching yeah. Aunt Lynn, you give us you gave us a really neat idea. Oh, what are they? They're the kind like May has got with the squeeze. You squeeze the middle and then oh, it squeezes them together instead of what you're having I to do. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, when you, so. when, you, when you press, they open, and when you release, they close. Yeah, that is probably what I do need. Susie answered that. Jay said reverse like snap ring pliers. Yeah, Jay's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, Tina said May May has them. Yep, that's the first. I, as soon as I saw the picture, I realized that I've seen those way. in her shop. I've seen her using them one day when she was making a card. Do I want to add? I don't think I want to add that much to the front because there is so many real ones on there. I don't want to use all. I don't the know. They're really up. they're really brightening it up though, and making it look pretty. Mm. Throw one of these orange bundles on there. See how that looks. Donna said, opposite of regular tweezers. Yeah. I should have gathered that from the name. I mean, it's like, here's your sign, dude. They're like, Rodney. Rodney says he's the brains of the operation, but not for real. <laughs> I said that the other day in the store, and this lady just looked at me and shook her head and then looked at Missy, and they nodded together with a wink. Yeah. Like, let him think that. Never floats your boat. <laughs> Whatever floats my boat. Whatever floats your boat. I don't even have a boat. I wanted one, though. I wanted one when I was younger. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. That is so cute. Susie's in the more... I'm of the more is better thinking. See, I, I'm that way, too. More flowers, the better. Because then you can get rid of the hand-drawn ones. And you can add real ones and have it really pop. And it gives it a lot of dimension to the book. Almost like a secondary form of embellishment. I might have to cut that one. That's cut what scissors are for. Yeah, I don't I have, have any. To. Okay. Um, it's looking super cool. Let me see if I can zoom in so everyone can see it a little bit better. That's as far as I can zoom, guys. I even made a cool sound effect for zooming in. Look at these. So, oh, put you back over here. You know, needle nose vice grips do come in handy for that, Jay. But you know what else it comes in handy for? So I'm gonna use that right there. For uh, what did I use them for the other day? Golly, oh, wrapping wire, uh, picture frame wire, the steel wire. I use the steel like wire that. so it's less likely to break or come off. Oh, yeah, that'll be pretty like that. It's truly bringing everything to life. Yes, it is. Oh, oh. Now we just need a real bunny. A real bunny on there? <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh, Some goodness. Bu maybe, maybe a little tuft of fur would yeah. be cool. Goodness gracious. Let me go ahead and open this pack, too. Uh, Look at there. There we go. She's of the Moors better now. She's joining Susie. More is better. Let's see. Let's it's see. like what we were talking about the uh, the other last last live. The more people, the the merrier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These are just so pretty. <laughs> Tina said you'll need your art glitter glue to stick a real bunnies on there. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Susie said, "Good luck with that." Yeah, <laughs> amen. Yeah, you're right. Right. Oh, they just look so pretty. I like it a lot. What I'm most nervous about is Mod Podge and I'm on here. <laughs> what if you thin it, water the Mod Podge down a little bit? So it's not so thick, so you can just kind of drip it on it. Right. Judy said that orange really set it off. It did, it did. I thought so too. And at first you laughed when I said, put this orange one on there. I have another little piece of orange that I could go right here. Oh, yeah. That looks perfect because the way I drew those lines coming up. Oh, I found another one. Nope, oh, she found another one. You was uh, talking really quiet. Nobody can hear you. Sorry. I just go like Oh, per that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. yeah. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going <laughs> to... Dried flower and a dried bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon said. Uh, she said, just kidding. I wouldn't want to put a dried bunny on there either. But look, look like that taxidermy, duh. <laughs> what is it? We, we ha It was in the store, and somebody bought it, and I was really oh, surprised. Oh, what was it? Was it? A it was like a... Oh, what was it? I, what was it? Don't anybody sneeze. Dried flowers. <laughs> yeah. Don't anybody sneeze. That's true. Right. What was it? What it was, was a weird it? thing. It was something weird. 
that I would have never pictured ever having uh, um, done that to. Yeah, that works out really good. So it looks like there. I cannot remember what it was, but it was something weird. It was a taxidermy something weird. It was like a gopher or something. It was something. Prairie dog? No. It was not prairie dog. It was a... Ah, what's them things called? They were really aggressive at my dad's house. A groundhog. It wasn't a groundhog. Yeah, it was too, because it was really crazy looking. I don't remember what it was, but it was weird. Right now we have a deer and a fish in there. Tina said, put a small amount of Mod Podge onto the picture, then put the flower on top of that and lightly paint over it with thin amount of lot Mod Podge. Ah, look at Tina with all of her knowledge. Well... So, recover the book in Maj Podge. No, no, just the sections that you're going to put the stuff. So, like, take the flower, yeah, put the Maj Podge on. Yeah, lift the flower up, paint okay. the Mod Podge, set the flower down. Okay. And then lightly paint over it with thin Mod Podge. Thin Mod Podge. Okay. Kat says she's loving the mixed media look. Okay, so here's my flower. This is my flower. This is my Mod Podge. Susie said, do you really want Mod Podge on top of the flower? Do I? So that was like, that's kind of where I was at as far as, um, like, I was kind of in a stump. Because if I do that, the Mod Podge is going to... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on just a second. Natalie just reminded me of something. What'd she say? All right, guys. There's 22 people watching this video. There's only 15 likes. <laughs> I can't do it with a straight face. I can't, can't do, it. do it. Uh Natalie did it though. She said it. <laughs> Come on, peeps, let's video the video. Vinny the video. And then she said there are twenty two watches and only fourteen likes. She did it. Oh, that's too, too too hilarious. Need the Mod Podge to seal it unless you clear coat over it. See, that's what I originally I thought was that I was going to clear coat it and I thought I was gonna clear coat everything, but then I was like, no. Because I want it to look a little bit weathered, so that's why I did the brush strokes in the Maj Podge um, and well, you, everything. So I think I'm just going to do it this way, and if it doesn't work out, then you um, can still clear cut over after you're done. Yeah, y'all can um, instead of Mod Podge, or you can water down your Mod Podge. Well, I did spray a little bit. <laughs> Natalie said I can hear his voice right now. Yes. I did spray a little bit of water in this bowl. Um, that way I could water my Mod Podge down just a little bit if I needed to. And I probably, this flower is probably. Sandy said, do your thing, Missy. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, if I learn. Um, I, I didn't do this one big enough. Okay. Nope. Not picking that yeah, one. Yeah. See, Donna said the same thing I said. Just pick up one flower at a time. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to pick a flower up at a time. I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge down. And then I'm going to set my flower in the Mod Podge. And then I'm just going to... And this is a very soft brush. It's a filbert. Yeah. She's using a quarter inch filbert. That she grabbed out of my kit. So, and I'm just going to gently paint the Mod Podge over it. My bad. Our kit. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's yours uh, is mine, that's babe. Right. Sandy said, lol. So that one turned out really good as far as it goes with the. I like I like using filbert brushes. I like the larger filbert, so it's not like I was ever going to use that one. So a little bit of Mod Podge. Set my flower down. Oh, and that's working out perfect. It is. That's working out perfect. Donna says, "If it doesn't know doesn't work, we'll know not to do this." Yeah. 
That's we'll, right. We, we, Let we, us mess up. Yeah, so we'll retitle it and say, don't what? do what I did. What is it my mom says? We mess up so you don't have to? Yeah. Don't do what I did, guys. Yeah. Make it a clickbait thumbnail. Yeah. Like all these new ones out there. Don't do what I did. Kind of like, kick that 80 shelf to the back. That video only did well because I, it was a clickbait title. I'm not going to joke. It was. It was real clickbaity. And people let me know, too, in the comments. I had to delete quite a few. Donna said, from here, it looks good. It's looking good from here, too. Um, some of these flowers are a little bit thicker, so they would concern me as far as, like, durability. Um well, just uh, lightly touch just... it with the lightly touch it with the glue so it seals up the that way it stays durable. Yeah. Um, or, so... or water it down a little bit more and just let it soak in. Kind of like when you uh, do resin flowers or whatever with the pressure chamber, which we don't do that. We do have a vendor who does. Mm -hmm. I did it one time for a buddy of mine at work, and it took me two tries before I got it right. And I was using Alumilite. The same people who make Amazing, I was using their product, which is a urethane two-part resin. Mix one-to-one -one ratio but by you weight. Know, um, once the Mod Podge dries, it's, you know, it's pretty stable. Oh, yeah. I was just saying about the middle of that yellow, the white and yellow yeah. flower. You could just drip it on there, maybe. Just drizzle it. Maybe come out with a spray Mod Podge. They probably already have one. Yeah, that's looking good. It looks good on camera, too. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. You know what would hold these flowers down? Art glitter glue. Yeah, it does look good overhead, actually. Especially when I turn the thing all the way up. I wish I had a higher resolution camera, but this laptop wouldn't support it anyways. So being able to zoom into YouTube videos is just, it's amazing to me. Okay, so my orange flowers, I might cut the stem to go right there so it doesn't cover the so pink it doesn't flower. cover up the pink flower yeah so if i just take it and cut so this is a little more hands-on than what we usually do um and then this is my back side so i'm going to try to make sure i get the stems coated be careful, them flowers are brittle. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me... What's the plans for this bunny's future? Will we see it in the store? If the... I can make it look good enough, I'll take it to the store. Well, so far, it's looking pretty doggone good. That was Kat that said that. That Facebook reel y'all did today was funny. Which one is it? Um, that postcard. Oh, I didn't even want to do that one. <laughs> Tina said, yeah. Missy, you have a very light touch. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't want to do that one because I had to look like funny. that goofy yeah. guy. Okay, so. And then she was like, well, let me tell you what she said after that one. She's like, you know, people like it. Shoot, they like those. So I need you to do another one where you're acting funny. <laughs> I was like, well, the first one I wasn't acting funny. I was just standing in the boutique when she says, well, just stand there like a dummy. And I was like, oh, let me move out of the way. I had to move this one over because... Goofy guy's worse than dummy. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, me. It's funny. It's funny. Everybody wants me to be a doofus on camera. No, you're not being a doofus. You're being real. You're funny. You made me a doofus on the paint video. 
Where I had the paint everywhere. No, I didn't. Susie said, you're now into mixed media. I love it. Uh, I like mixed media. We did some mixed media art classes together. Me yeah, and Missy we did. did. If you live locally, there's a lady named, uh, golly. Cruz. Yeah, Miss Cruz. I can't think of her website, but she teaches uh, mixed media. She teaches acrylics, oil painting. She teaches it all. She's really good. And it's fun to take her classes when she comes to Clanton. This flower is very delicate. Very delicate. This tiny petal. It's okay. You got it off? Yeah. It's looking good. Susie said, I wish I was local. What is her name? Golly, I've taken like five, six classes of hers. Because I wanted to learn how to paint with acrylics better. And then we ended up using some other stuff like ink. And it turned out really good. And we would water down our acrylics and turn them into ink, basically. Nope. She called it acrylic watercolor. And that was a neat painting technique. I'd never thought of using acrylic. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody told me there was a house for sale down here. Oh, right off 145 today when I was getting my hair cut. That's really? right, guys. I got my hair cut. Got my wig split today. And he went to the dentist. Oh, yeah, I went to the dentist to find out why my mouth was hurting. And it turned out that I cracked a filling. He's got to have a crown. And now they're going to have, since it's the second time I've cracked the same filling, I have to have a crown put in. Cat said, looking snazzy. Thanks, Cat. So, yep. Yeah. So we're going to go with a temporary one instead of the, the full loan. But I got to pay for both. Ears lowered, looking slick as a greased onion. <laughs> You'll never guess who said that. I can't imagine. I can't imagine who said that. Chris Cruz. Chris Cruz. Yep. Good job. Susie said, can't leave the family. Yep. yep. Yeah, I couldn't either. We did for a while when I was in the Army, but after that it was move home time. Yeah. We came home after that. It kind of worked out. Yeah. Where do you want to be? I should have put it like this. Well, you got it. Looking yeah. good. It's hard to do with the stems. I don't think I could handle the humidity well. It gets hot here in the summer, but it's just dry heat. And yeah. Oh, it's not here. It's a, Sometimes you walk outside and you feel like you can't breathe. It's a different type of heat here. Fort Campbell the same way though. Yeah. Let's see if that'll work. Different I, kind of heat, that's for sure. Yeah. Because I'll tell you, when I was at when I went to Fort Polk, Louisiana, it was hot. But to me, it was hotter at Fort Polk than it was when we went to Fort Irwin, California, which is in the desert. So there is something to be said about humidity adding to the heat. Because it, uh, it makes it like you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. Where Fort Irwin felt like you were in a hairdryer. A hairdryer was blowing in your face. This felt like somebody was trying to shovel water into my mouth. It was crazy. So, yeah. Too much sometimes. And it's, then you got to worry about your paint drying too slow. That's like, yeah. You that's, can't use urethane resin outside because the moisture in the air ruins it. That's why I like... Paint, it's like there's paint and furniture season that's where it's the best time for you to, but you know, most of the time I paint all my furniture in the house just simply because yep. you just, uh, it's unpredictable here. All right, that is all of my flowers on there. It really does um, <laughs> brighten it up, don't you think? Uh, yeah, I do. It looks great. Yeah. And then I have these guys right here. Hubby wants to head to Washington State after retirement, Sandy said. Trading one wet for another. 
Isn't that where Forks is? Forks, Washington, from that show. What's that show called? Twilight. Goodness gracious. Sharon said, originally, Georgia girl, I know that heat. Tina said, so sorry, I was in Yuma, Arizona for two years, which is a dry heat. Put your oven on 120 and stick your head in and tell me if a dry heat's enjoyable. No, no heat's enjoyable. That's no joke. No heat. And it's like the older you get, the worse it gets. Like, I swear, I swear I could do all kinds of stuff in the heat. But now I can't take it. But also, because we work indoors at the store. I think that's what it is. We've gotten conditioned it, to being inside. It conditions you. Um, <laughs> it's horrible. Karen said, yep. Uh, average rainfall, seven to eight inches. Mm. Yes, Forks is in Washington. Yeah, I don't like the rain. Jay gave you an 11 out of 10. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. But yeah. Yep. Heat's heat's brutal. Yeah. Nice. Kat said, I love summer. It's more enjoyable by a boat by a body of water. Well, you're a young cat. Well he is. Well, until your swimming pool gets too hot. We got an above ground pool, so that thing gets pretty hot during the summer. It does. Like Right in the afternoon, you don't want to get in it. We don't want to get in it until about 6 o'clock at night. All right. All right. So I'm going to try to do these. Again, these are thick. But I am putting a pretty decent coat of Mod Podge on here in the hopes that it really does hold it down. But I'm also, like, I'm putting excess, spreading it out a little bit to keep with the theme of Looking old. Susie said temperature should be 50 to 75, period. Okay, I can take time. We have a creek, and I'm so ready to walk through it with the dogs, Cat said. Oh, yeah. Now, that sounds just like Cat. Tina said, my younger son lives in Washington State, Seattle. He loves it. Does he? Wow, what's it? Wow. Gillespie? No, he moved to Oregon. Mm. I was trying to think if I had any buddies that moved to Washington when they got out of service, but I don't think so. And I'm going to go this way and press it down. That green is really looking good on that binding. I really like that. Yeah. Right on the spine right there. Yeah. I'm liking it too. Now I think if you if you brush duck egg on there, I think you would mess a lot of stuff up. I think I up. would too. That's why I just it's just to the side. Karen said Seattle is very peopley. Ooh, then that's not for me. <laughs> that's not for me. I'm not gonna be able to push it down right here, but you know what I will be able to do. You can layer put, another one over it. No, I'll be able to take art glitter glue after this is all dry. Yeah. And I'll be able to put it a dot and then hold it, get it with oh, the tweezers. Oh, the stem's popping back the, up. It's, yeah, yeah. Because it's thicker. It's just a stem, yeah. So I'll be able. To, that's what I'll be able to do. Those leaves look great. They really do. That's what uh, Sandy said. I'm really liking it, and then I'm going to go that way. I don't even know what these things are because they didn't come with like a label that says, hey, this flower is this. <laughs> that would have probably cost it more. Probably. It would have been $20 instead of 12 So I don't know if, you, if I'm doing it even on camera, but I'm just taking my brush and just painting the back side of these because there's so much. Tina said they're small ferns and they look beautiful. Well, thank you, Tina. Lydia said, ooh, how beautiful. Late to the party, ferns are wonderful. And I'm going to put it right here. Leaves are a great addition. Susie's yeah. right. Karen said, a little fern leaf. We can't ever keep ferns alive long enough, so we don't even know what they look like. I don't. I don't. We killed a mimosa tree. 
I don't have a green thumb, not really, but I am proud of all of the plants that I have living in my house right now, no joke. And I do have some. They're the kind that that just don't care if you, you know, are here or not. Yeah, she's got a monster plant. Uh, not monster plant. That's what I call a it. Swiss Monsterosa. Monsterosa. Sandy Pepper. Sandy said mimosas are hard. Yeah, they are hard. Hard to kill. We we killed one, though. Susie said her ferns are trying to take over her yard. Mm. Cat says she's trying, doing her best to keep her little cactus alive. Oh, I thought um, I gave Cat a cactus. I got one more at the store. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that big bowl of cactus at the store. I'm gonna make it alive. I have a customer, Miss Gina, a customer. Uh, Miss Gina? Yeah. She did a whole little thing with this big old bowl and all of these plants and stuff yeah. like that. I was like, what? I, so I'm gonna see if I can save that one that I have and turn it into like a little fairy land. It'd be so cute. Karen said, I thought you drank mimosas. You can. <laughs> Just not right. those crazy trees. Look at that. And then that. Ooh, I had a beautiful tree growing in my yard, but the person who bought the land next to me cut it down <gasps> thinking it was his. Dang. I'm so sad. See, can you hear me that? That towel happened right to there? Tina. The towel. You know, uh, a business, a business bought some land beside my dad's house, and they cut his trees down, and uh, they had to pay him for them. There we go. It was a big, big deal, because they cut all the trees on our property line, and it was like six feet over the line. So I don't think I'm going to add any flowers. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I was, at first, for a minute there, I thought I was going to leave flowers. I would throw a flower or two on there mm -mm. to I'm give just it some let color. The green. Maybe a pink flower. Because that's the side. Okay, I guess. What do you guys think? Keep the leaves. Let me go to the main camera so they can see the leaves. Keep the leaves or throw some flowers on there too. Um, keep the leaves. That's what we're going to I'd like a willow tree, but don't have the room. Ooh, yeah. Weeping willows. There's, a, there's one down the road from us. We had two maple trees in our yard. Yeah. We had three. Two of them died. Within a year of each other. It was the craziest yeah. thing. Yeah. Susie said, just the leaves. Just Keep the, the leaves. leaves. Keep Looks it Looks beautiful the way it is. Yeah. No flowers on the spine, Karen said. That's what I say, too. Everybody's kicking my butt today. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so what I think I want to do is... Okay, so what can... I... Sharon said, Looks great the way it is. Yeah, I like it, too. You know, I'm gonna have to back brush him. I'm yeah, gonna, gonna have, have right to, here. I'm gonna have to art glitter glue that, and when all this mod podge dries, and get that stem so it'll glue down. Um, and then this stem too, I probably will shoot a little bit, but it looks like I might have done it really pretty. Yeah, it looks like it's it looks, it's stuck down. It's yeah, just it looks, dimensional because it is thick because yeah, of the stem. Yeah, but it, some of it still has a good coat of mod podge on top of it, so we'll just see. We'll just see how it works. But what I would like to do, what to to finish this book off for sure, um, I would paint these right here in drop cloth, and then paint my edges. But for this part, which I, let me see if I could can you get could you put the vintage duck egg on the quotation pages so the on the the main book part. Oh, instead of instead of drop, drop cloth. cloth. I think it would just be too much. I think at this point, just doing, um, I think if I just, yeah, if I just do, um, Tina's meeting with a landowner tomorrow to see what he's going to do about it. Good. I'm telling you, my dad did. It was a big deal. Cause Imagine it is. Some of the trees were like 20, 20 feet off the line like there's no there's no way any branches were even leaning over their property they still cut every single one up and down sandy said simpler is best sometimes it is for sure is that what you're doing now is painting that drop cloth yeah i'm just going over that so that way you can kind of get it i got you yeah you have see. to put a uh, mod podge on the bottom of a stem too because it popped up yeah 
Um, I'm going to art glitter glue those Karen down. Karen said, have there. a great night. My in-laws just stopped by. I'll catch the rest later. Blessings right. to you all. Bless yeah. you too, Karen. Have a good night. Have a good night. But yeah, that's... Uh, I, w I don't know. I'd be pretty heated, I think. I was yeah. mad when our maple trees died. Yeah, I mean, but that was... There's nothing we could do about it. One yeah. was lightning damage, and we think the other one was a fungus. Yeah, there's nothing I could do about it. Sandy said drop cloth is her favorite. Drop cloth is mine, too. It's just a good go-to white, but not white, white, but just not cream, not yellow. Yep. It's just a good one. Somebody bought Annabelle and Blue from from us online four ounce that's a pretty color i had to remember it because uh i had to remove it from inventory today because i totally forgot to remove it from our in -store i inventory. want to paint a piece of furniture pink and i think i have a piece may may says she'd gold leaf it but that's probably way too much oh gold leaf i yeah. like gold leaf we have a whole roll of it here with some stick with me yeah. No flowers on the spine. I didn't put none. But how are you doing today, May May? Ah, uh, May May. We heard about the uh, chocolate covered strawberries. Missy missed that part because she was in the back with us with somebody. Uh, somebody was bringing some stuff in. I was working. Then I, I ended up having to go to the back too. If for a minute, for the first half of the live, I think I did, I got to watch it pretty good. Yeah, because we're pretty slow for a little a portion, minute. a little portion of yeah. the day. We made up for it towards the end. because uh, I was eating um, the frozen goat and Judy said it's beautiful, Missy. Got to go feed the hubby. Thanks, y'all. Thanks Thank for watching, you. Judy. Thanks for swinging by. Yeah, I think it looks good. I think it's Sandy said good. The, the, the strawberries look delicious. Ooh, I bet so. I bet so. Yeah, I see gold gilding on the pages, Lydia said. I think what I would do is just like um, dry brush some a little some brown lines just a little bit, so that way it looks old, not right. perfect, you know, just like like that. And uh, then, gold gilding wax is what Missy uses. Yeah, and then. Um, that was Mama who asked that. Yeah, gold gilding wax. Um, and then take the sandbar and then I do the detail work around the edges here so that way it's painted there. And of course, all the way around. I wish that it would quit doing that. What's it doing? The exposure keeps turning off. Mm. When I go to, oh, here's the flowers I got missy. They're yeah. so cool, aren't they? <laughs> she said Vince spoils her. I'll spoil Missy, oh, too. Here's your dried flowers, boo. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Susie said, I'll catch you next time. The scene, this senior citizen is going to sleep. Uh, These senior far. citizens are fixing to go to sleep, too, yeah, in a little we're bit. we're not far behind you. <laughs> Mamie said, I love those flowers. They it was Aunt really Lynn's good. idea. Yeah, Aunt Lynn's the one that was telling me about it. She called Missy and said, hey, you need to do something with these flowers. So yeah. Missy was like... Okay, and she asked me about it. I didn't think they were going to come in in time, but they did. They so I was did. pretty stoked it's, about that. It turned out pretty good. Cat said, it looks like it came straight from a fairy tale. Heck yeah, yeah, imagine that with some steampunk stuff. Oh yeah, a steampunk one would be good. I wish I had some pipes. And who, I know everybody's waiting for the steampunk papers. They're taking a little bit longer. I, I have got some almost totally finished. But... uh they're almost they're almost here. Give me some water. I love those flowers. You gotta know your person. Donna said, and they don't die. That's right. That's right. They're already dried. They won't die. That's right. I'll have these forever. Until, until you sell until the book. Until I sell the book. Yeah. <laughs> if I That's if I say. sell the book. You know, because it's like a learning book too, you know. Yeah. Always trying to learn something new. Learning book. I'm just taking the um, sandbar and just where I had did the white 
just kind of going around the edges so it can blend. Oh, so you're just softening it up now. Yeah. I wish you I wish you had a little a little sponge. That would be cool. Yeah. Or you would. just dabbed a little sponge on there. That'd be even softer than using the paintbrush. I just yeah. Now that's well, a, I have the big sponge. I'm that's a fan brush. No, that is a used to be a fan brush. Now it's a smush brush. Yeah. Sandy said it, was, it looks great. I think it looks good. So where it's wet. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's a great idea. Let me zoom everybody in so they can see it. Just where it's wet. Just kind of spread it out. But that way it has the same texture with the sponge. Well, it gives us sponging it on there really gives it a softer blend, mm -hmm. too. It does. It does. So that way it just fixes that. That's looking really good. And then if you wanted to. Jay said for me to draw a uh, stem on there for you. Oh, yeah. If it goes like last time, I can't draw nothing. That, that Sharpie pen broke me. <laughs> you know what's crazy, too, about that whole situation? There was an industrial Sharpie on my dresser in my room that we could have used. We could have. And now, oh, I see what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I'm she, just... She's using a point brush. A point brush, and I'm just... With a thick Mod Podge. And highlighting those ears. Yeah. That's fantastic. I like the added touch. So that way when it dries, it'll be thicker right there. So look at there. You took them classes from them Chris Cruz classes serious. And I'm doing his nose. Cat said such an eye for detail. I'll do the flower. Look at you. Go on with your bad Get self. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe it. Get out of here. No, no, I'm dead serious. You're putting in the extra effort. And then this Lydia said guy. Missy never fails to remember the details. She loves to say that word too. Get it down in the details, guys. Get it. Well, that you have to. Not nook. You can't change it up. It's just details. details. No nooks and crannies. No details. Same word. I know. Sandy said, "Get out!" Question. <laughs> Exclamation point. Yeah, get out of here. Rodney hears that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do hear that a lot. He hears that a lot when he comes up to me with something. I'm like, ah, get out of here with that. I'm like, hey, we could do this. No, nah, get out of here with that. I got enough to do. Yeah. And I'm just going to kind of outline the, the thing. What thing? Your, he scrolls, your head's in the way. Sorry. I can't see. The scrolls. I'm just like, there's some scrolls. Whoa, whoa, don't mess up the scroll work. That's the hardest part. I'm not. I'm highlighting it. Because the, the Mod Podge okay, dries. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. You're good. What do you mean, don't mess up the scrolls? <laughs> That's why Rodney's still working on the steampunk. <laughs> That's He's right. got to get those details down. That's right. <laughs> no. Get it's, them details. It, it's, yeah, in a way, yeah. It's just airbrushing the... Uh, Dirtiness onto the gears to give them those extra effects. Yes. I did finish that frog one though. It's pretty cool. It's a frog wearing steampunk goggles. Sandy said, back off, Rodney. Let the master work. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You don't. I don't know what You're to speechless. say. I'm speechless. speechless. And I talk speechless. all the time. It's airbrushing in, in digital, Tina, with the airbrush tool and uh, pa uh, Corel Painter. I also have Corel Paint Shop Pro, which is uh, really oh good God. for... So there's some stuff you can't do in Painter that you can do in Paint Shop Pro. And uh, I didn't know that, so I had never downloaded Paint Shop Pro. It's all part of the bundle that I bought from hum Humble Bundle. When I told everybody about the bundle, it's uh, 
I ended up buying that bundle because it had some, some stuff I didn't have, but I didn't use it until the other day when I needed to, I had collapsed my layers again like a doofus and I needed to erase the background and get it out because I needed to reuse that same image on another background and I'll it did not that. work. It, it Paint Shop Pro worked perfect for that. It's not gonna, it's not. hold on, here we go. Let's see if it tightens up. There you go. Look how pretty. Let me go to overhead only. Get me out of the way. Oop. Golly. It did it again. You see that? Go to this one. Okay. Main camera. You'll have to hold it at an angle because of the light source. There we go. Really great, Missy. Wow, Kat said. Tina said, absolutely love it. So cute. Yeah. I and you can all, you can. Can you see? You I can, mean, like the Mod Podge is still wet. Let me so hold it. So when it dries, it, it'll have like. Because I can get it up here and yeah, be able to see it glossy. without the glare. Wow, that's just absolutely amazing. You did a great job. You think so? Golly, yeah, I do. You like it? I do like it. So the Mod Podge is going to, because I used that thin brush to, and did and a And like you layer. can't see the texture from the book like you could earlier. Yeah, I'm I'm really I that orange really makes it pop. I think so too. So Tina said it looks like the flowers are coming right off the page. It does. So I'm really so pretty. happy with that. Those flowers are awesome, Sandy said. So when the the thicker Mod Podge dries, you know, it'll be a little bit raised up too and then Mod Podge has a, you know, shiny finish to it. It says it's matte, but it's it's shiny. Um so it'll have that kind of um, it's a slight sheen. A, yeah. a slight sheen to it's it. So in between, it's in between flat and satin. satin. Yeah. And it's almost like an eggshell. Right. Like eggshell would be about the So I texture. think that those are going to give me that look that I'm looking for as far as like um, in these thicker areas, as far as like, um, like a painting, that kind of thing. Um, and then if I, after it's all nice and dry, I'll see if I need to add more. For sure, on the side, I'm going to come through with some art glitter glue and get my stems to um, glue down and hold so that way they're a, a lot more secure. I would like to take brown, um, I say brown wax, but I might use just like a dry brush brown paint um, so that way it's not, um, it's just more sturdy as far as that goes um, for handling. I think I would like to go around the edges of the book and just do a little bit of dry brushing so that way all this um, texture that's in the paint from the sea sponge will go through and especially right through here and that will help it give have a worn look to it and then of course um, I need to finish up tightening up my lines where the book is um, and the pages are and then I would definitely um, now we gotta do something to the back just Maybe do. another piece of Mod Podge, I mean another piece of decoupage paper. I mean, I, yeah, you could easily do that. That way it's a complete design. It's so it's complete. Um, Tina said, you do know that means now I have to get some of those dry flowers so I can use it in my crafting. Yeah. Sharon says, so true, Tina. Yeah. Look for the book boxes too. Yeah. Book boxes, golly. We have a couple of different ones, and I, I'm excited about them because, like, I, I want to do a couple of the Easter ones and then the spring ones and stuff like that. Um, we just try Most it definitely out. look around for those things because mm -hmm. I didn't know how pricey they were. Yeah, they are kind of expensive, but if you can find a good one, then, you know. And that's how we've been finding ours. We've just yeah. been finding ours in random places. Uh, we good. found one at a yard sale, it. a yeah. thrift store. And then, uh, um, two of them went in our store. Yeah. 
And they're fun to redo like this. I mean, you, like you could do ones just for in general. Like I definitely want to do some with the birds, the bird decoupage paper. I definitely want to put some of the birds on these books because I think that they would be really pretty. A steampunk one would be really pretty. And then I think it would, it, these are pretty cool to do like um, the embellishments on it like that. Yeah, lower it down again so they can see it. The molds yeah. and stuff like that because, you know, I have my clay mold, so that would be fun to add to a book is a clay mold. Sandy said, vintage, love it. Yeah. Tina said, I can make my own book boxes. Just need the dried flowers. Yeah. Because Tina makes her own paper too, guys. That's right. Um, again, the you Crafty know, Kitty on Etsy. We got these on Amazon. It was, you said it was like 12 bucks for the four pack? Yeah, it's $12.96, mm -hmm. I think it was. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty cool. I'm excited about them. And I still have a lot more, and I didn't even open um, this package um, that has all the, just the greens in it. Is which I think these would be really pretty to add with the birds, the bird um, decoupage papers. So I'm definitely going to be doing some of these up. Um, I just think that they're cool. Even if you didn't use them to store anything, if you just set them, had them sitting up or sitting on your table or whatever, they're kind of cool. I like them. They do look really cool. Yeah. So this didn't turn out as bad as I thought. I was I was nervous about it because I didn't know how the flowers were going to work, but it turned out really well. I'm not. Well, and you've never really dabbled in a true mixed media before until today, so that's really impressive too. Yeah. And I got Mod Podge oh. on my it, look. It's the shape of the leaf on my counter. <laughs> What's talking about? Where I Mod Podge the back of the leaf. It's the shape of the leaf on the counter. With the Mod Podge. Natalie says, love that paper. Great job, Missy. Yeah, let uh, me, um, if you didn't see. Uh, Sandy just... said, great eye, Missy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. These are the other papers that come in this pack. And I shared uh, Tina's link. Just show them to you. This would be really pretty on a book. I like that one. Yeah. Is what you could do these on a regular book, too, like an encyclopedia book or yeah. something like that, because they're big like that. You could easily do that. I love this one too. I think this is the original one that I was thinking yeah, about. Yeah, I think going that's with. the one you were going to go with too. Um, but Emily would talk me into doing that one because I thought this was really cute. I love his little bunny ears. I liked the very first one. Go back to it. Yes, to me, that looks like the back of a book. Like the scene you see in the back of a book with the descriptions at the little thing and it tells you. You know, you know how in the back of the, on the very back page of on the very back cover of a book, how mm -hmm. it gives you the little, yeah. little description of the book. To me, that's what that looks like. Yeah, that's a good one. Like Hector and and Joseph are about to set out on a mission so, to save the world from intergalactic. Yeah, that's what this says. That's what this one says. Good job. <laughs> that's what that says. Wow, wow. Bunnies? I'm riddled with holes yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. That's what that one says. Missy, that is Good beautiful. Job. I can't wait to see you do more. Cat says, end scene of a movie. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> there in you a go. galaxy, <laughs> a, a, long, galaxy long, far, a long far time away. ago, in a galaxy yeah. far, far, far away. Far, far away. I need to know how that story ends, May May said. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, the two bunnies set off yeah. on their intergalactic journey. Where are journey. they going? What are they doing? <laughs> to throw eggs. <laughs> to throw eggs. <laughs> like, what's the name of that movie? The Rise forest. of the Guardians. Oh, gosh. There you go. Rise of the Guardians yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like that. No, cat. We don't hear a short story coming your way. <laughs> come and take them. That's yeah. right. Oh, come and take the eggs. Yeah, come yeah. and take these eggs. That's a we good got one. you. They pull out their egg blasters. Oh my god! <laughs> Blasted you with Easter hard boiled yes, Easter eggs. Hard boiled eggs. That would be. Uh, oh my god! I bet that would hurt. Yeah, for sure. Oh boy. That's it. That's all I got. They came back with a whole bunch of bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, to get their revenge. To get their revenge. Ah. <sighs> All right, guys. I think that's it for today. We appreciate everybody watching with us always, and uh, having always. fun, making us laugh. That's always an important thing. Yep. I think laughing's amazing. They often find the color for the eggs. Ah, that's a good one. 
Yeah. <laughs> My next bunny's gonna be named Hector. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, boy yeah oh man Whew. is there anything that's you got it. That's, that's all it. i got it's tuesday and i'm tired <laughs> all right guys we'll see y'all friday. friday at 11 right mm -hmm. yeah i always have to ask her what time yeah and uh y'all have a great great rest of your week and we'll see y'all friday Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>